Middleweight Championship fight between Nick Diaz and Paulo Costa. All right, so here he is, the undefeated middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. Most would argue this is the scariest power puncher in the 185 pound division at present. And I think for those that would doubt him, he answered a lot of those naysayers in the Yoel Romero fight, outlasting that freak of a man over 15 powerful minutes back in 2019. Paulo Costa appears destined for future greatness, but obviously a big test in front of him here tonight. One he is hoping to pass with flying years. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Costa is 29, Diaz is 37. Costa is one inch taller, Diaz will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Paulo the Eraser Costa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? All right, here we go. UFC Middleweight Championship is on the line. Very tricky. That body. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Slips to avoid that left. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. There it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. All right, single collar tie now. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, a huge block there. Big shot. 
shots being landed on both sides here. Just misses there with the left. Just over three minutes to go. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land some of the impacts. A huge combination from Paulo Costa. This guy's a judge's dream, DC. Every single one of his UFC wins has been a finish. Zero decision wins in his career as he enters the octagon here tonight. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. And he landed the right hand there. Nice move and punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, clean entry, is he? And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. control now and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than the half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge bluff. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful one. Back and forth we go. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Right hand upstairs. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Costa caught by another right hand. Nice one, two there. And they settle. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice right hand. He blocks the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. So as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 68 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against Paolo Costa. Costa's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Switching stances here. And they separate. Oh, Diaz's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man going to earn his money tonight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining Ready? rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds. This is what happened. Very skilled, very match fighters coming together. Nobody has truly taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Costa gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Counter left. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Overhand is true. Costa's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice one-two there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Pretty good right hand. And they separate. All combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Connects with the right. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I mean, that right hand landed square. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Great All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just goes 
so many strikes, but this man has taken it to the octagons, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing just out of the range with that right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Diaz gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Blocks the strike. Well, single collar tie here. Lands the right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ooh, nice straight left hand. Oh, collar tie. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good punch. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice defense there, huge block. Nice kick. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. And he switches his stance yet again. And they separate. Great punch landing with so much power. His lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Right, it looks like screen, 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 screen. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Counters with a straight left. Back to the jab now, no good. Big kick lands. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. Right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh. Liver kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Big body kick land. Under three minutes now to go round five. And they separate. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. How good is that right hand? 
Doubling up on the jab. Right hook to the head block. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Nice counter left hook to the head. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye. Because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Diaz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Played the winner by unanimous decision.